We're working with long division with polynomials here. We have our original problem here, and this is our polynomial 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus x plus 1. And we're going to divide that by x plus 2. So the first thing we need to do is set that up just like you would a long division problem like you learned back when you were in third grade. Here's your long division problem. You notice that the x plus 2 remains on the outside. The polynomial is the one on the inside. Now when we're doing this one, what we're really concentrating on is this x value here. Okay, for this first portion anyway. So we've got to go x. What has to multiply by x to give us 2x cubed? Okay, so x to 2x cubed would have to be 2x squared. So what we're going to do is rewrite that up top here. Now I always write it here because that lines up with all my other x squareds here. But let's see, 2x squared. Okay, so now what we do here is we say, okay, 2x squared. We have to multiply that by each portion here, x and positive 2. So 2x squared times x, we'll write it underneath here, is 2x cubed. Then 2x squared times 2 is 4x squared. So we'll see that here. So 2x cubed plus 4x squared. Okay, now the big thing is, just like you do long division, uh, when you're dealing with just solely numbers, we're going to subtract now. And subtract means that we're going to change both of these signs. And this is usually where the error occurs. So we're going to change both of those signs now. They both change to negative in this case. So now I'm just going to combine our terms. 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is 0. 3x squared minus 4x squared would be a negative x squared. So we write that down. There's our negative x squared there in red. Okay, now we're going to basically start from where we were now, uh, except now we're going to bring down our, our x here, our negative x. We'll bring that down. So now that we've got this here, we have to say, okay, what do I have to multiply x by to give me negative x squared? Okay, x to turn into negative x squared would have to be a negative x. So I'm going to write that right up top right here. I bring that up, that's my negative x. Now again, we're going to go through the same process, and you'll do the same process over and over again. I take this negative x, multiply it by the x, and by the 2 here. So negative x times x would give me my negative x squared. Negative x times 2 would give me negative 2x. Now that we've got both of those, now we have to subtract it, essentially, which means we're going to change the, both of those signs. Now they're both negative to begin with, so that'll change both of those to positive. Okay, now, uh, negative x squared plus x squared would give me 0. Negative x plus 2x would give me a positive x. Okay, now I look at this and I go, okay, what times x? So I bring down my 1, excuse me, we bring down our 1 first. Now I look at this and say, what, uh, what do I have to multiply x by to get me x? Well, it's itself, so it would just be 1. That would be a positive 1. So now I'm going to write that right up top there. There's my positive 1, and again I go through the same process. 1 times x will give me x. 1 times 2 will give me 2. So I got x plus 2. Then I subtract, which means I change both of those signs. Okay, so that x's cancel out. 1 minus 2 would give me a negative 1. Okay, so now we're just about done here. We know that negative 1 is going to be uh, the last part that we have. So we've got our quotient up here. This is the whatever's left on top is our quotient. Our remainder is going to be whatever's left down here at the bottom. That's a negative 1 in this case. And when you write that one, it's going to be negative 1 over whatever this was right here. In this case, it was x plus 2. So I write that now. So you'll notice here my quotient up top is the 2x squared minus x plus 1. That came from right up top here. Negative 1, that's why we have our negative here. This is our minus sign. 1 over x plus 2. That's our remainder right there. And you're done with this one. It does have a remainder, but that would be the way that you would write it.